Today I'm gonna to make lobster bisque. I like to get the whole lobsters because I want the shells. I'm gonna use the shells to make a bisque. A bisque is a thin, elegant soup that's made out of the shells and exoskeletons of seafood like shellfish and crustaceans. These lobster shells were in the freezer. If you just do lobsters once in a while, you can just add them into a bag in the freezer until you have enough to make a bisque. The first step in making our lobster bisque is to make a stock out of the shells. So we're gonna take these shells, we're gonna add some vegetables and aromatics, simmer that for a while until we get a nice stock. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the lobster shells in. To our shells, we're gonna add carrots that we're just gonna roughly chop. If you wanna get more flavor, the smaller you chop it, the more flavor you're gonna get out of it. It's gonna do some celery. Put celery in. One of the challenges with making a lobster bisque is the lobster bisque tends to come out on the sort of orange green side. So we want to add some things to the stock that are going to help enhance the red color. I have some red onions here. So I'm just going to take these and I'm just going to cut them in half. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of star anise, just two of these. Anise has a licorice aroma to it. And I'm gonna add a small branch of bay leaves. Everything is now in the pot. So we have our red onions, our celery, our carrots, some bay, two star anise. And now I'm just gonna fill over top with water. Now I'm gonna take the pot and I'm gonna put the pot on the induction burner and bring it up to a simmer, probably an hour, maybe two hours. While we're simmering our stock, in the background here, we'll prepare our vegetables that will go into the actual soup. We have some carrots, celery, and some onion, and we're just gonna chop those up. I've also got a red pepper here from the freezer, and one of the reasons that I wanna use the red pepper is because we really want to work at enhancing the red colors. Okay, so here's my vegetables and my onions for the second part of the bisque. So our stock is getting up to temperature here and you can see there are these white bubbles on the top. We just wanna go through and just skim those off. We want a nice clean stock. Our stock is finished. One way to tell that your stock is finished, if you pull a vegetable from your stock like a carrot, it should be very soft. So we have our stock here, and as you can see, it's a gray green with red undertones. Don't be alarmed. Okay, let, let's finish off our bisque. We're gonna add some brown butter. You can use any kind of butter. I just happen to have some brown butter around. It's about two tablespoons. You could use other oils like olive oil, but butter and lobster go really well together. Now that my butter is melted, I'm gonna add in my onion. We just want our onions to become translucent. We're not looking to caramelize them or get any deep color into them. Add salt into my onions. Now that these are well on their way and they've expunged quite a bit of liquid, they're pretty translucent. I'm gonna add the rest of my mirepoix, which is the celery, the carrots, and the red pepper. And I'm just gonna mix all this in. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt at this point, and I'm gonna add some paprika. Adding red paprika instead of black pepper We'll add a bit of heat, we'll add a bit of seasoning, but we'll also help with the red coloring. Just gonna cover this now. And what I wanna do is I want the steam to help sweat out and soften the carrots and the celery. So our vegetables are all sweated. You can see they've softened up. I'm gonna add tomato paste. This is really gonna help us with our red color. It's a big blog. Now we want the tomato paste to sort of cook off and we want the tomato paste to start to caramelize and turn darker brown and even stick a bit to the bottom of the pot. I'm really looking for this bit here where it starts to stick to the bottom. Now that I've got some good bits sticking to the bottom, I'm gonna deglaze this with some, some brandy. This is cognac. You could use white wine in this situation. And I'm just gonna use that cognac to release the fond from the pot. And I can smell the cognac, it smells really nice. I'm gonna add some of my lobster stock in here. The stock from the Cambro here is pretty green, but once it's mixed in here with the tomato stock and our vegetables, we've got a red bisque now. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let it simmer away for a while, blend together, soften up the vegetables really well. Our bisque is done cooking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it up and make it smooth and add cream as we do that to emulsify the soup and make it a have a little bit more body. Start the blender on slow, work it up to number 10 and then put it on high.
And I'm just gonna repeat that same process until I blend it up all my soup. Now we have our lobster bisque. I'm gonna take the bisque and I'm gonna put it back on the induction burner and I'm just gonna cook it a little bit longer at a very low temperature and just try to get the soup to sort of come together. The soup is finished, it's simmered now for another 45 minutes. To garnish this, I have a little bit of creme fraiche mixed with some whipping cream, some dots, some sort of a stick, and we're just gonna go through the dots and make a little heart pattern. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on some gochugaru. And gochugaru is just a hot pepper flake, but I like it because it's shiny and it's red. Here's my Michelin three-star plating, and I'm just gonna give it a try. And it's just a nice soup, light in body, has a smoky lobster flavor to it. It's very creamy. The magic of lobster bisque is that you take lobster shells that you normally just throw into the trash and you make an elegant little soup. So next time, instead of throwing those lobster shells out, make some lobster bisque.